Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to talk about equipment needed for close focus wide angle. Close focus wide angle is such a cool technique. You can take a picture of a subject in the context of its environment, show multiple subjects including an animal with your dive buddy, and get great depth and exaggerate depth and perspective. So first of all let's talk about the higher end stuff. Probably my best pictures with close focus wide angle have been with an SLR and a true wide angle lens and two strobes, okay? Uh, this is a, I use an SLR camera, Nikon D300 or D7100. They both have cropped sensors and I put them in an Ike light housing. Uh, I usually like to have two strobes for a broader, more diffuse illumination of the foreground subject and a dome port. Now, uh, this is a 12 to 24 millimeter lens. On a cropped uh, subject, if it's zoomed all the way out, the 12 millimeters is actually equivalent to 18 millimeters on a full frame. Okay, you want to be at least 24 millimeters or less for true wide angle. I've had my best luck with the fisheye lens, a 10.5 millimeter, which is about 16 millimeter equivalent on a full frame sensor. All right, now we have to get close to the subject, at least within a foot. Ideally, I wish I had a smaller dome because it would allow an even closer approach and it would allow me to pull my strobes in tighter and allow me to get my camera down below if I'm on the seafloor. Uh, but this is what I have. Again, for close focus wide angle, we want our strobes to be pulled in tighter so the cone of light illuminates the subject in the foreground. We then focus on the subject of the foreground, lock our focus, and then move our camera to recompose our picture, to put the foreground where we want in the image and get pictures of whatever we're going to get in the background. All right, but we lock on the foreground focus. We have pretty good apparent depth of field with a wide angle lens and small aperture, but we still want to be focused on the foreground because the depth the field extends further back, not further forward. All right, so that's with the SLR, but guess what? You don't need extremely expensive high-end equipment to get successful close focus wide angle. I recently purchased a Canon GX7 uh, compact camera with an Ike light housing, and I have two little strobe arms, and I have a video light and a strong focus light to provide some light color and contrast to the foreground subject and keep my shutter speed a little bit quicker. All right, and guess what? I've gotten some pretty darn cool images with this setup. Um, you can also use a wet lens wide angle attachment to get an even broader depth of field. Now we have to have the camera zoomed all the way out to 24 millimeters and with this camera I'm still able to focus very close on the foreground subject. You need to get very close to have that size perspective distortion. But again we focus close, we make sure our strobes, are illumin our, our video lights are illuminating the, the subject in the foreground. We lock our focus, recompose our picture and depress the shutter. And guess what? I've actually gotten some pretty cool photos with an even more simple setup for close focus wide angle. Just using an S100 ca Canon camera, compact camera, Ike light housing with an external uh, wet lens, a wide angle attachment. And you know what? If you're shallow, if you have good lighting and you can get close to the subject in the foreground and preferably if the sun is to your back, you can get some good images. In fact, the book I published, The Aquatic Eye, I have one image in this book that I took with exactly this setup here, and I think it's a pretty cool picture. A beautiful stingray in the foreground, my dive buddy in the background, that's a true close focus wide angle, and it's taken with relatively simple equipment, no strobe, no artificial lighting. Now, one other thing I'd like to again remind you, make a checklist and you can download a checklist from my website free pdf theaquaticeye.com do me a favor and do that i have two checklists there one is equipment to pack and two is setting up your camera a checklist right before the dive okay now i went against my own advice i used my checklist for a recent dive trip i was at the blue heron bridge just last weekend my wife and i were taking two slr cameras housing strobes and attachments and two point and shoot or compact cameras with the housing and strobes well i had packed a week ahead of time with the checklist but i left some of the stuff out because i was still using one of my slr cameras guess what we went on a four-day trip to south florida we had all of our stuff except for one thing. I forgot one of my SLR cameras. Pretty incredible. Wasn't too happy about it, but it happened. Uh, so don't forget the checklist. And thanks for tuning in. This sums up the equipment needed for close focus wide angle. Thank you.